This lesson will cover services for objects. Basically, how to attach files to pretty much any object in SAP that has the services for objects icon. So the demonstration I'll do is it will be in um, display mode, just to show that you don't have to actually be in change mode of an object. So I'm going to go into a notification. So you see I'm in display mode. So wherever you have the icon in the um, the margin up here, which is display PM notification, but you see the um, icon here, services for objects. So there's a drop down. We'll give you a menu of choices. We'll bring up a toolbar. Uh, I prefer clicking on the button that brings up the toolbar. So you have all these different objects here, all the different uh, buttons. So mostly we'll cover this one, how to create an attachment or services for objects attachment. These are just text notes, private notes just for you. So only you will see that note on that object. So we won't be covering that today. So this one here, when I click on the button, gives me a choice of what I can do. So create an attachment basically then allows you to browse for a file and it copies the file into the SAP server. And if you're not set up properly with a document server, then it's actually going to cause a problem because uh, it's going to go on the same server where SAP software lives. So that needs to be configured properly. Creating a note is to attach a text note to the object. This one is to create a link, like a hyperlink, where there's a hyperlink to a, to a um, network drive that's a dynamic link to a file on a network drive or a dynamic link to a SharePoint file or a website. So I'll do that one first. So when you pick that choice, it gives you a place where you can put a title to your to the link. So I'm say this, I'm attaching a manual to it. So I'll say what it is, it's an OEM manual for Google's pump. And then here's where I put the hyperlink. So you'd need to find the website that points to the pump or the SharePoint site, right click, copy the link, and then here you'd paste it. So after I paste, I hit check. Now you can also paste with this button. I heard a bing sound, so I'm wondering if it picked up the whole thing. I'll have to verify. So I hit the check mark, and now that's attached. To see if it's attached, there's a paperclip icon. So if that icon is ghosty, like not available, then it means there's nothing attached. When there's something attached, that icon's available. And there it is. I'm gonna double click that to preview. And it's gonna take me to the website and it says page not found. So that's what I think would happen was it didn't paste the full link. So I'm gonna delete that or I can edit that link. And I'll paste this. So I'll delete that hyperlink and paste it with the clipboard. And it pasted the same thing. No, that worked properly. So that pasted the full link. So now I have that link properly in that notification, the co co um, attached to that notification. So I can attach other objects, you know, as many objects attached as you like. So if I click on this button again, I can create another link to a website or something, or I can create a proper attachment that attaches the actual file to this object. This is often used if you have a picture of the problem, you would do it as an attachment or a link to the file on the network drive. If you have like a network drive where you put all your photographs or things like that, you can do that. So I'm just going to go to my uh, picture library and I have a picture of a cracked weld here. So I just double click on it, allow it to come in and it's now copied that into the SAP server or SAP document server. So I hit the paperclip icon. You see that I have two link. Uh, well, this is a link. This is an actual attachment. So if I double click on this or use the eyeglass, it'll, Show me what that object is. 
So it just opens it in uh, whatever viewer software you use for viewing pictures. What I recommend for pictures is rather than attaching the actual JPEG, what's better, I think, is to have um, like a Word document that has like a nice table grid. So I'll show you what that looks like. I have, um, well, I'll attach one first, I'll show you. So I go new attachment. I put an example of this on my desktop to show. And I'll sort it by date. So I have two files, it's a blank template. This is one I put some pictures in. So now that's attached. So I'll double click it to show you what it is. I have templates for various picture arrangements, like whether it's two pictures by four or two by two or whatever you want. And the beauty of pictures in a Word document is what you see is what you get when you go to print it. And you can have it so that the pictures, when you insert it into the table grid, like a word setting for the table is to auto size the pictures. So if I go to insert another picture to show you what I mean, if I put in a uh, staircase picture, there you go. It sized it perfectly to fit the horizontal extent of that square. Then I can put the caption here saying stair cracked weld. And now to point out where the crack is that I found, I can put this little I can move this little square thing I have in the template, or you can use arrows. Now, if this arrow is to point to the problem. You can uh, control drag the arrow if you want to copy that arrow, because you want to keep one there. So you can copy that, you can move them, you can rotate it by grabbing the end points. So the beauty of this is you can uh, really point out where the problem is. You have a, your title and it's a nice consistent look to uh, an attachment. Now remember, I told you it copied the file into the SAP server. That's why it's giving me this, this pop-up. So I would have to basically save this file on my desktop and then reattach it. So changing the original on my desktop is not going to change it in the SAP server. So now I've made that modification. Uh, this file, if I bring it up, you'll see it's not been modified there because that's the version of it that's on the server, right? So all my changes I did to it didn't affect the, that copy. So I have to delete that one and attach the updated one from my desktop. So that can be a problem with uh, services for objects. The idea that it's actually not a pointer to the original file, it's a copy of that file when you do that as an attachment. So there's my recommendation on using templates if you can. So those are the two main types of attachments where you do it as a, an attachment that copies it to the SAP server or as a hyperlink. So some companies, they, they uh, require all their users to just only do it as a hyperlink, the URL method. So they're, because they don't either don't have their document server set up or they just want to have links so that as you change the originals on the network or on your SharePoint drive, automatically the, the, um, documents updated because it's just one document, just a pointer to it. Now the issue with that though can be that if someone renames the file or changes the name of the folder on SharePoint, uh, then the link is severed and it won't load. So like I showed you, if you want to delete an attachment, you hit the trash can icon or you can do right click delete. And if I want to edit the, um, the link in it, I can hit the pencil button to edit. If I want to attach something else, I hit the new button. So I'm going to hit green check to leave that. One problem that I've seen some people do is they, they um, create an attachment or they go in to modify an attachment like to remove one. So let's say they remove this attachment with a trash can. If you don't hit the green check, you're not actually saving your changes. If you hit the X to exit, you said you 
Are you sure you want to cancel? If you don't understand what that means and you say yes, you actually haven't deleted that attachment. You see it's still there. So if you do want to delete an attachment, trash can and then green check. And then you'll see it is actually gone. So that's services for objects. Now how are you going to know when you bring up an object that there's an attachment to it? So some companies do in configuration, they do modifications to show the paperclip icon right here in the toolbar. Some companies use other ways of showing that there's an attachment to services for objects, but it's not an obvious thing on standard SAP. So the users would have to know. So you, in the actual long text, what, in notifications, we would say see attachment. So that people know there's an attachment. Otherwise, they have to click this button, the services for objects, and see that there's an attachment every time with a paperclip icon. So that's this um, topic.